Well, thank you. Thank you. That's, uh, this really is quite an honor. And I, and I brought my drink with me because I know some of you know my name. You wouldn't recognize me by sight. So you see me with the drink. Oh, that's Bob. The drink in my hand. The, uh, it is a special night for me. It's the first time anybody ever gave me flowers. <laughs> bought me drinks. You bought me dinner. Whispered sweet nothings in my ear. Gave me a flower. I want you to know, no means no. <laughs> You're going to feel better about yourself in the morning, believe me. No means no. <laughs> yeah, I, would, I, would, uh, I have a lot of thanks. I, I have to say some thank yous here. It uh, wouldn't be inappropriate. And I'm going to ask you if you join me in something. I would like to say thank you to my wife for being on time tonight. As John said, uh, it, it's, we're married 37 years. After about two years, every event we went to, on the way there we fight because we were late because she was late getting ready. On the way home we fight because she says, I drank too much. <laughs> about, about two years into the marriage, she says to me, I got an idea. I promise to be on time if you, if you promise not to drink too much. So we've been late for the next 35 years. <laughs> I would like, if you could, uh, for a serious moment, if you could join me in doing something tonight. The, uh, my, my brother was supposed to be here tonight. I was his lovely wife, Tracy, uh, came in without him, which is fine, Jack. Uh, he's not feeling well. And, it, and I really, it was, uh, I asked my mom to come, and it would have been a very special moment for her. We don't get a lot of rewards in my family. This would have been a, you know, no, we don't. I mean, any, anytime she's used to seeing me in front of a crowd, there's a judge and a jury. So, uh, yeah, but tonight would have been a real special night for her. And uh, since, since she's 11, she's had a uh, neuromuscular disease that's uh, in a family of muscular dystrophy. And uh, she can't always participate at, at the level uh, that, that she would like. The, uh, so I, I, she, she wanted to be here. She was a little... I, I was, didn't want to tell her, a little heartbroken that... Uh, well, we spoke this morning that she wasn't going to make it. So, Jimmy, we filming this? You got it. We, we got it on uh, Skinny and Younger. You put the camera on. <laughs> this, this setting's for Skinny and Younger. Uh, I hope. The podium helps, right? Oh, yeah. You look helps. good. But uh, on, on three, if everybody would just say, Hi, Pat, and I'll give you a little something to think about. So, one, two, three. Hi, Hi Pat. <laughs> well, thanks, Ma. And, and if you were here... I, I just wanted to say thank you for, for teaching me that strength isn't about how much weight you can lift, that there's courage in even very ordinary events, that sometimes a special kindness can be a gift, and that life lived with unconditional love, sympathy, forgiveness helps us all deal with, with our mortality. And Mom, I know you couldn't be here tonight, but for certain, I wouldn't be here tonight if it wasn't for you. Thank you. It's also, it's also special, uh, you just let me say, the thing about the getting fired, uh, there's none of that in my mind. I deserved it. The, uh, <laughs> fortunately, they, they didn't. It's, uh, I've had a lot of great successes uh, with Luco, Keyspan, National Grid. I have some very good friends over there. The, uh, and, you know, to the, uh, some of the people who don't get it, the relationship can work. If you have two people willing to make it work, two groups of people willing to make it work, there's a group of people here tonight from Keyspan. Hawkeye, Lipa, people I deal with on an everyday basis, and I think we thrive together. I think we have some uh, mutual needs that serve Long Island very well. But uh, to help with that for now, let me talk about my family a little bit. <laughs> I'd like to thank uh, my, my son. My son's here. My brother who's not here. You know, they, they, they both belong to the local. They both work where I work, and uh, it may not seem it from 
front, but it, it can be difficult at times to be the business manager's son, to be the business manager's brother. As hard as this may seem, there are a couple of people who don't always agree with everything I do and say. I lived with one for 37 years. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, to my wife, uh, she is, uh, we have been going out for 45 years. We have been married, it's hard to say that, but we have been married for 37 years and got along famously for at least five of those years. <laughs> This, this job is extremely difficult. The, uh, uh, you're away many, many nights, as you know, John. The, uh, you're, out at, you're out at night. You're out on weekends. You don't always have the time when you're home. The, uh, a friend of ours, uh, a few years ago, came up to me and she said, you know, I don't know how Barbara does it. If you were my husband, I'd give you poison. I said, if I was your husband, I'd take it. <laughs> I gotta be honest, that was Winston Churchill and Nancy asked, but I'm gonna take credit for that. I, I also, you know, this is uh, by, by our very nature, by the word union, by collectively what we do. Uh, I, I am nothing without the people I work with, my staff sitting here. Uh, they, uh, they understand the rules. When we do good, I get all the credit. When we do shitty, they get the blame. So. <laughs> but they, they, are, they are the ones who drive the engine that get it done every day. And, and not just them, the people that come before them, the people that built my local, the starting in 37, the people that put this together, that built the foundation, the people that came in the labor movement before them, we stand on their shoulders. We have the successes today because of them. A couple of words to the selection committee. Well done. Nice choice tonight. <laughs> no, 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 not me, not me, not me. Uh, of course, uh, I'm talking about Teresa, my friend. You know, they say society is judged on, on how you treat those who don't have as much as, as everybody else. And uh, Teresa has shown us a way to help our, our friends and neighbors on Long Island do it and let them retain their dignity. So I'm always happy to share any, any state with you, Teresa. Steve, love Babylon. Love Babylon. Been in every bar in Babylon and two restaurants. <laughs> every bar and two restaurants. You gotta eat. You gotta stop to eat once in a while. But uh, my wife and I have been looking for a home in Babylon for a long time. Anything you can do while you're here. <laughs> If you don't want to waste an opportunity, I'd, I'd appreciate it. But I, you know, I've, been try, I've been trying to think what the three of us have in common. You know, they like to nominate people, there's, there's a lot in common, and I think I got it. I did a lot of soul searching. And Teresa, Teresa takes money in the form of donations. She gives it to those who need it most on Long Island, provides shelter, food, warmth, Steve takes money in the form of taxes, provides education, not takes, accepts, accepts as a donation, <laughs> accepts money in the, in the form of taxes, schools, fire, police, roads, infrastructure. And I, I'm a trade unionist, I belong to a union, and according to Fox, I take, news in the form, I take money in the form of a salary and don't do shit. <laughs> I got news for you, Fox News. I got news for you, Chris Christie. I got news for you, Walker. We built those roads. We built those schools. We taught in those schools. We built your farms. We built the middle class. We built America. Now, Churchill also said, if they're, angry, if, they're, if they're angry with you, you must be standing up for something. We are standing up for something. We continue to stand up for something. John told you, Don did a great job. Steve Israel did a, did a great job. We're, we're standing up for ordinary Americans. We're standing for the work of people. We're not going away. There's, there's a long history here. We're not afraid. But we need to understand there's some 
real challenges ahead. The uh, that most recent Supreme Court decision, Citizens United, the little stake in our heart. First, first they give you your right to use all the money you want, then they go after the labor unions who use our, our members and, and come together to stand up for so much. But we've been, we faced bigger challenges before. We're still going to be here. Somebody once asked Joe Lewis, Joe, what's it like to be heavyweight champion in the world? Isn't it great? Joe said, you know, everybody wants to go to heaven. Nobody wants to die. The, uh, nothing comes for free in America. It's a great country. You can get what you want, but nobody's giving it to you. You got to take it. And the best way for us to take it is to stand together and demand what is rightfully ours. The, uh, we have a great job to do ahead of us. We need to educate people. The truth is our friend. When people understand what we are doing, what we've done, what we've meant to America, they'll stand with us. They'll be our side. We need to be educators. We don't need less teachers in America. We need more teachers in America. <laughs> Education is the silver bullet for the, for the working people in America. And we have educated, intelligent people who can make, find the difference between a fake argument on Fox and real news and real information. We're going to win. Now, I'm just about done, right? <laughs> 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 the, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I'd like to say, in, in closing, I, I'd like to say, uh, I'd actually, I don't want to close. No, no, in closing, I'd like to say <laughs> that th there's, a lot of, there's a lot of people and a lot of ways to judge success. It comes in a lot of forms. And a lot of symbols for success uh, in our lives are mansions, yachts, big homes, I guess that's a mansion, the uh, expensive cars, and, and, and to me I judge success like many, many people I, I worked and I serve on this board with, about the fights I fight, the people I stand with, the people I get to call friend, the people I get to call brother and sister. I couldn't feel more successful than I do tonight standing here with you people. Thank you so much for this honor, member of